A 2 kilogram block is at rest on a smooth, frictionless horizontal table. The length of the block is x. A bullet of mass 0.015 kg traveling east at 400 meters per second strikes the block and passes straight through with a constant acceleration. Ignore any loss of mass of the bullet and the block. So remember that your brain always works better with images. Therefore, we're going to take all the information that we were given in this section and put it on our diagram. The initial velocity of the bullet was indicated as 400 meters per second. The initial velocity of the block is zero, seeing as it is stationary. The final velocity of the block is given as 0 0.7 meters per second on the diagram. And the final velocity of my bullet is unknown. It was also indicated that the surface that the block is on is frictionless, which means that the block will lose no energy as it moves on the surface. Question 4.1 then says, state the principle of conservation of linear momentum in words. The principle of conservation of linear momentum tells us that the total momentum before a collision needs to equal the total momentum after the collision. It is then said that the block moves eastward after the bullet has emerged from it, as was also indicated on our diagram. 4.2 then asks, calculate the magnitude of the velocity of the bullet immediately after it emerges from the block for a total of 4 marks. Seeing as we were asked in 4.1 to state the principle of conservation of linear momentum, it is an indication that that would be the principle that we would use in the following question. Therefore, we can apply the principle of conservation of linear momentum to solve the velocity. Before the collision, we have the mass and the velocity of the bullet, as well as the mass and the velocity of the block. After the collision, we again have two bodies, the mass velocity of the bullet as well as the mass velocity of the block. Seeing as the block is initially stationary, the velocity is zero, and therefore the block has no momentum before the collision. My direction of motion is to the right for all the bodies that are in motion, therefore I can take right to be positive. We then obtain an answer of 306.67 meters per second, which makes sense seeing as the bullet is entering with a velocity of 400, it will decelerate as it moves through the block and therefore it should have a velocity smaller than the initial. 4.3 says, if the bullet takes 0.02 seconds to travel through the block, calculate the length x of the block for a total of 5 marks. If we look at the information surrounding the block and bullet system, we can see that we have the initial velocity of the bullet before it enters the block as 400 and the final velocity when it exits as 306.67. Seeing as we were also given the time that it takes the bullet to move through the block, we can make use of your equations of motion in order to solve the deceleration that the bullet experienced and then also the distance of the block. Making use of your first equation of motion, we can solve the acceleration of the bullet, which is actually deceleration. So we are expecting to get a negative answer. Which gives a deceleration of 46,665 meters per second squared. We can now use this acceleration in either one of the following equations. So remember when we use equations of motion, there is always more than one method in order to solve the problem. So for each one of these equations, we obtain the correct answer. This problem could also have been solved by using your work energy principle. So if you already covered the work energy principle theory, then go ahead and try to obtain this by making use of your work energy principle.